Hi guys, it's Sims Australia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. So this is the first episode of the Castaway Challenge and this is our main Sim here, our only Sim, and her name is Sonia. So in case you guys haven't watched the Create a Sim for this girl here, I basically go over a lot of the rules for the challenge or at least for the start of the challenge anyway, in that video. This challenge was created by Lexi Roo Gaming, who has given me permission to film this and post this on my channel. So don't worry about that. But basically, yeah. Our girl, Sonia here, is stranded on this island and she needs to survive. So... Oh wow, was she actually hung she's hungry already. <laughs> That's really not good. Okay. Um so you guys will see there's like this stuff here. Twigs lying about. So that's resources. So we basically we can collect resources and that will allow us to actually sort of in a sense like quote unquote build different things for ourselves. So like, it's um, 10 resource points in order to get a campfire and we'll need that to cook any food that we get. So let's see, we're at four here. So that's four twigs that we've found. Eek. Is that all we have? Because if that's all we have, that's, that's really not good. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, oh, wait. That's five. Okay, so there's there's actually loads lying about. So while we're hunting for all of these, I'm actually going to send her to go and fish. Because she needs to eat. But there's no good getting... Oh, she's, okay, okay. That's one thing I will actually say. Um, I had forgotten her traits when I made the Create a Sim video anyway. So basically her aspiration is the curator, so she wants to collect loads of different things. That's a nature aspiration, so she's got the collector trait here. She finds rare collectibles more often. She loves the outdoors, which is really good because she's going to be living in it. She is a cheerful sim, which will ho hopefully mean she doesn't get too sad or too stressed about the fact that, you know, she's stranded on an island. And she's active. She's actually, she's quite fit. I've built her with a lot of muscle tone. So, yeah. She's an active sim. And that'll be good because she actually requires a lot of handiness to actually progress through the challenge. So there's a lot of skill building in this challenge. Oh, why is this bush stinking? Eek. Okay, she's not going to like that. But she has to deal with it. That's her toilet bush. <laughs> That's where she's gonna go. Okay, is that... We have eight. Oh, she caught a fish. She caught a fish. Awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Twigs? Twigs? Twigs. Nice. Okay. I am pretty certain that this is... That's all there is on this island. I can't see any more. She has caught her first fish. We're not going to sell it. I I know it says there that we've got 20,000, um, but we're not going to be buying things unless we actually have the resource points for it, so we won't be using any of the simoleons anyway. I probably will cheat out, you know, and put it down to zero at some point. Um. Okay, so we're going to comb the, the beach for seashells. So the different resources that can add resource points are the twigs here, which we've already got. It was paused, I was like, is my game lagging? Um, so we've got the twigs and then they're worth one point each. Seashells and frogs are also worth one point each. From what I can see, there's no frogs here. I don't know if anything actually spawns on this island that we're on. I'm guessing it doesn't. We can't even move out onto that grass there. So I don't think that we're actually going to get any collectibles spawning here. But hopefully we can actually find 
some seashells <laughs> on this island. Yep, okay. Apparently none there. Keep coming. Because she's getting hungry. Poor ghetto. We did get a lot of compliments <laughs> on this sim in the Create a Sim video. So I think you guys might like her. I think she's super pretty. Oh. I didn't need the notification that I took a screenshot. I didn't I did not need that coming up. Okay, we got a seashell. We got a seashell. Right, that's actually really, really good. She's only been here for two hours and she has enough resources for a fire pit. Okay, so we'll sell that stuff. Yes, I want to sell all items in the stack. Thank you. So that's we've exchanged 10 resource points and now we're going to get a fire pit. And she'll be able to eat. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the challenge. Okay, so we are back. She has a fire pit and she's got a fish and she can actually eat and get her hunger up a little bit. Hopefully she'll start feeling a little bit better. Also, while she was doing that, she got another seashell. <laughs> so she apparently just went straight from combing that seashell, like getting the first one, onto the next one. So that's good. We already have one extra resource point, And I think after she's eight, we're going to go about and we'll actually explore the other islands. So I'm pretty sure that we can swim across to the other islands in this little, you know, neighbourhood that we're in. Okay, so she ate her dinner. She had a look out across and she could see on the nearby islands that there is an abandoned ship. So we're basically here. We're going to explore it a little bit and hopefully get some more resources. Because it would be nice for her to have a bed, you know, or a toilet. Or just something. <laughs> but basically, this exploring this island is the second objective that she has to meet after fishing. Spinach. Ooh. Okay. I wonder if she can plant that. That would be good because hopefully she'll get to the point where she can start growing and maintaining a garden. That is the next objective. But we're basically to explore this island, get all the resources that we can. Oh, okay. Um, so we can only take one copy of each plant that we find back to our island. Otherwise, it's sort of like it would be too heavy for her to swim. Which I get, that's fair enough. I think she's scuba diving right now. <laughs> okay. Look at her out here having fun. Oh, there's a sim. <laughs> and there's like a little buoy, or whatever you call it. And a boat. So, yeah, she's not really alone, I guess. But for the... Let's just say for the storyline that she is alone. But you wouldn't think she's actually that concerned because instead of going and collecting resources and everything, she's just having a swim. <laughs> So yeah, she's clearly not that fussed. Oh. So we actually, we did find quite a few resources. Okay, she's having a relaxing swim, guys. She's she's clearly very happy. This is a, see, this is maybe because like I gave her the nature aspiration and everything. She's not really caring. She's like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't, I don't mind. She looks like she's enjoying herself. Which, you know, it's a, it's a good thing. You don't want her too stressed out. But we need to get her back to the island because she does need to pee. She needs to use that dirty bush. Okay, so we are back at our home island. And as you guys will see, she has changed outfits, obviously, because she was swimming. So she's in her swimwear. So basically, oh, we'll give her some privacy. She's about to hop into the bush. But basically, she's obviously stranded on this island. She only has one set of clothes. 
But basically what we're saying is she had her swimwear on underneath her everyday clothes. So her outfits are kind of a variation of that as well. So like for her athletic wear. Okay, so basically her everyday formal hot weather, cold weather, party. It's all the same because she doesn't have extra clothes. Her athletic wear though, I'm saying like basically she's taking her t-shirt off and she's got her bikini top on. And then in her sleepwear, she's not sleeping in her shorts. So she's got her top on and her bikini bottoms on. And then for her swimwear, she's just wearing the swimsuit. So, poor girl. It's time for her to pee in a bush. (laughs) We'll let her do that in private. Oh. See, this is one thing. We have a plate and I don't know what to do with it. Can we can we sell it? We put it in our inventory. Can we do anything with it? No, we can't sell it. Okay, well it can just stay in there because it's finished. And we don't really want to have it sitting about ruin the whole ideal. Okay. So, like I said, she has 20 resource points. So there's no point in leaving them lying about. We're going to spend. Or actually, I think we'll have her comb for some more seashells. Because if we get two more resource points, we can get a bed on top of what we're looking for. So the next thing that we're going to get is a woodworking table. One that's part of the challenge. She needs to up her handiness skill before we can move from this first phase onto the second phase. And she also needs to get a bed. So that's the second thing that we want to spend her her resource points on. Why is she not telling her to Beachcomb's just cancelled that, I think. Okay, we'll hurry up in Beachcomb and then hopefully we'll get some more stuff. Oh, okay. So we actually got Mm -hmm. the fingers of Sulani. What is this? I have no idea what it is, but it's like a little sculpture, I guess. So I suppose that's money. Okay, oh my god, don't pee yourself, don't pee yourself. Okay, stop stop searching. Oh, look, we've we've got quite a few collectible items already. Right, I'm going to have her do the toilet. Because having her search for stuff cancelled it, apparently. So please fertilise that dish before you pee yourself because we really, really do not want that. Okay, so we've given her some privacy. She's finished. She's happy. We're going to have her beach comb. We need one more seashell and then we'll get a bed for her. Oh, she's uncomfortable. (laughs) From using a dirty bush. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, honey, but it's either that or you pee yourself. We don't have the resources for a toilet yet. Okay, hurry up and beach comb, would you? We're not really having any luck. I say that, but I mean, we already, like, we've already got 21 resources and we've had our first meal. We've already managed to make a fire pit. So we're actually doing not bad. We're doing pretty okay for the first episode. I've got to be honest. Like, things could be a lot worse. What's wrong? What's... Okay, she touched something and she's upset about it. And apparently a seagull stole whatever she found. Okay. Well, I didn't see that happening. (laughs) Imagine if they actually had an animation for that. That would be a lot of fun. Like, you really, really need to beachcomb. Because I want to get you a bed tonight. But you also need a woodworking table so that we can start making our own stuff. Once we've bought these things, I will be setting her simoleons to zero. Because obviously woodworking costs things. So I'm going to make sure that she actually, any simoleons she's spending, she's earned. So be that like selling this stuff, eventually selling stuff from her garden, and selling any extra seashells. Okay, okay. So not only did we just reach a life 
um, an aspirations thingy, like milestone. But we have also now got enough resources that we can get her a bed and we can get her a woodworking table. So I will be back in a minute, guys, once we've done that. Okay, we are back. We have exchanged her resources, or we will move them over, for a woodworking bench and a bed. So we'll sell these, which is good because we'll get some simoleons, so we'll actually maybe be able to use the, the woodworking bench. And... We'll sell all these twigs, which actually don't give us anything, I think. They're just free. Why can't I sell the twigs? Why can I not sell the twigs? I could sell them earlier. So that's really weird. Okay, that's going to be a little bit hard to keep track on. I like to keep track of how much we have then. Okay, we'll just need to try and remember that. 19 equals 0 currently. Alright, so we're going to have to find an, or catch another fish before she starts starving again. Oh, she's out for a swim. I swear she's really enjoying herself. She's loving the outdoor life. Hopefully we will actually catch something for her to eat. It looks like she's caught something. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Ooh, That's a... Kekild? A chichild? What? <laughs> okay. But actually, on the bright side, this is slowly getting her fun up. We're definitely going to struggle with social... They can't die from having low social need, but it certainly makes things a little bit difficult for them. But yeah guys, so Sonia has survived her first day stranded on this island. We're going to have her cook, we're going to have her eat her dinner, and then I think we're going to put her to bed. She's done really really well. Oh, a perch. What's a perch? Just a common small fish. And the other one that I cannot pronounce was a common medium fish. And actually... While we're at it, we will start our little garden. We'll start it over here. So, light that. Oh! Oh, okay. So, actually, sorry, I never read this. A perch is an invasive, an invasive species that damages the local ecosystem. Oh, okay. So, removing this actually helps the water, like, helps the ocean. So, that's really, really good. Our fishing has increased. Oh, we've actually caught quite a few fish. Huh. We're doing good. What's this? Oh, she's happy that she's making a difference. And she's also sad because she's lonely. I mean, would it be bad to tell her to just talk to the dead fish that she's just caught? <laughs> we don't really have many friends for her. I don't know, like, if... I don't know if it's allowed as part of the challenge, but we could maybe start swimming and, you know, try and meet a mermaid. Stop digging. But, okay, so they're out of season. They're not going to, it's not going to grow just now, but we knew that. We'll have her eat roasted fish. What is it she wants to do? She wants to stretch. Okay, so she's caught another, caught, she's found another shell. So that's us back. We've got another resource point. We're doing good. And yeah, I think we're actually, we're having a good time, guys. So we're going to have her eat and then we're going to send her off to bed. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We're definitely going to call it a day here. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.